Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. This is a new intro here, a little splash screen. I guess it's Dawan and Duvasa. Um, I have been trying to make a video for quite a while, but I have been playing very, very badly. So badly that I'm having trouble getting a high elf wizard off the ground. Um, it's ridiculous. So, I'm a little reluctant to continue with uh, Floor Globler here. Let's start something new, even though I always say I'm not going to do that. Let's try it. Uh, so we're going to be uh, Sito here. And we're going to try a combination that is supposed to be really powerful, but I've never had much luck with it. And that is the Merfolk Ice Elementalist. Um, now there's a couple ways we could go with this. I'm just taking a look for a spear there. We could train up pull arms and dodging first and then get into magic or get into magic first and then get into pull arms and dodging. We don't have a pull arm, so we don't have much choice right now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is train ice magic for freeze and dodging for defense. And both of those should train relatively quickly. Oh, and here's the spear. Um, in which case, I'm going to turn on pull arms as well. <clears throat> Now, I've tried this both ways before. I'm hoping the get good at melee and defense and segue into magic later is going to work out for me. Ooh, he looks nasty. Um, let's just back off a little bit. I don't know why. There's nothing to do. Enchanted whip. Okay. I'm hoping my defense and offense skills get pretty good quickly. Um, right now, I'm just... I'm just relying on freeze. Um, Merfolk, unfortunately, have a minus two to conjuration, so I'm going to avoid conjurations for now and just continue to focus on, the, focus on these skills. Once we are able to memorize uh, Summon Ice Beast, I might go with that. And I might also go with... Um, I definitely will go with... Um, Ozukubu's armor, which is, I think, improved a little bit over the old versions, but that will mean I'll have to summon up charms, or uh, train up charms a little bit. It's a Sunday morning here. I just woke up. Uh, we're obviously going to go for intelligence, although we want dodging as well. Just drinking a little bit of coffee here. Merfolk also make excellent transmuters. And that's been something I've been working on lately as well. I've also been playing Merfolk Gladiators, which are um, a lot of fun as well. The Merfolk are a pretty interesting race to play. I like how they can swim in deep water. Um, let's just stay away from him. And use a combination of our pole arm and freeze to take him down. Freeze for the for the adder. And here's another worm, which is good because it'll grant us some well needed experience. Ow, ow. Yeah. Let's just back off a little bit here. There we go. We took him down with a freeze eventually. Okay. Continuing on. I believe freeze, even if it is a level 1 spell, is still slightly hungering, and it is. Hopefully that will um, disappear at the 6th level when we raise intelligence again. This shouldn't be that hard a combination to get off the ground. I've got all the advantages on my side, um, but I haven't had much luck with it for some reason. Maybe that will change in this run. Oh, 
Okay, it looks like we're just about finished level two. And let's dive down to level three. Oh, there's another worm. That's three of them on this level. Okay, down we go. <clears throat> As for gods, I'm not sure who I'll go with. Oh, there's Okuwaru. Tempting. Tempting. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? It's always good to take an early altar. And now I don't have to sacrifice, so that makes me happy. Ooh, here's another Sito. I bet you he is the same thing. Oh, a gargoyle earth elementalist. Um, let's just make sure he doesn't have stone arrow. No, he, has, he only has Sandblast. Let's back up in the corner here. We know his range is fairly limited, so... Let's see if we can freeze him. Oh, we're out of juice. Uh, up we go. Whew, that was close. Down we go, and Sito is gone. Good riddance to bad rubbish. We're going to need a little help taking out Sito there. Here's a ring of ice, which is a little help. What would really also help is a little more in the way of mana. We only have... Run. <laughs> we only have uh, seven mana. But let's get back on the stairs and try this again. He's almost dead. And there he goes. We got a bonus boost of intelligence there, which helps quite a bit. Um, although, Freeze is still a little hungry. <clears throat> and we should be able to raise intelligence again upon our next level up, which should happen uh, with the killing of pretty much the next monster. Excellent. Well, we didn't get the level up, but we did get a trident, which is a lot better than a spear, so we'll keep this. Now, I think it's better for this sort of character to stick to the lighter polearm, so if I get anywhere with this build, um, I'll be looking for a demon trident. Because we do not have the strength. Um, at least that's my understanding. It could be wrong. I'm wrong about a lot of things in this game intelligence again, and it might be time to get Ozakubu's armor. Okay. Let's turn off ice magic for the moment, and charms on to get that, uh, to get that functional, functioning for us. That, on top of our dodge, should be able to um, counteract our absolutely atrocious armor skill. We're not going for armor with this build anyway. Okay, let's pick up the Rune Spear for one. Um, let's try it out. Hopefully it's not cursed. Plus three. I'm not sure which is better. A plus three spear or a trident. Base accuracy plus four, base damage six. Uh, it looks like the spear is better. I'm not sure why we're so stealthy, but we are. Okay, it's time to run until this guy turns visible again. I know he's there, or where he is, but I just want to heal up a little bit. There we go. And charms has increased to two. That's not quite good enough. I want it up at around three, so we'll continue to train it. And here's the temple. It's an early temple, and here's an amulet of resist mutation. Let's go in and see what the temple looks like. I don't think I've seen this one before. It's a nice looking temple. But it's not some somewhere we need to go. 
Here's another ruined spear. Would be nice to find a vampiric one. Let's see what this is. Spear of Venom. It's probably a little better than a plus three spear at this point. And it might be at the point where we should be trying our scrolls out. <clears throat> this Spear of Venom would be a nice thing to enchant a little bit. Okay, let's drop down and try out our scrolls if the coast is clear which it will be soon. I took a little too much damage in that fight. More than I was expecting. Um, I could have used my Ozukubu's armor, which I will do now, actually. Let's see what we have in the way of scrolls. Identify... Enchant armor. Mm, let's enchant the boots, I guess. Noise. Here comes the cavalry. Remove curse. Not a lot in the way of scrolls. Okay. Let's escape. And we're going to identify all our potions. There might be something useful in here. We'll start with the single potions because those are more than likely more valuable ambrosia and we'll go for tea brilliance okay hmm this fellow is bound to be trouble let's put our plus three spear on because poison's not going to affect him we'll throw on ozukubu's armor and see if we can kill him it's not looking good so far. Well, let's take our heal wounds potion. I want him dead. There we go. And that gets our charms up. Um, if freeze is maxed out, which it is, is there anything else I want here? Let's get some an ice beast. And let's train up summonings. I was going to focus on uh, on melee, but being able to summon ice pieces will really help me out. That's pretty much a guaranteed, as much as I hate summoning, that's pretty much a guaranteed survival um, tactic through the lair and even the orcish mines. So we can sneak in and dodge his pull arm there. Oh, and there's Blork. Oh, he's got a Wand of Haste, okay. I want that Wand of Haste, but I don't want to get hit by the Scorpion. Uh, brilliance, Cancellation, Flight, nothing to help us here. I just want to get out of view of the Scorpion. I'm not too worried about Blork, although perhaps I should be. Ozukubu's armor is still active. And he's dead. I'm not sure what he hit me with there. I was out of range. Okay. Okay, Scorpion, please die. Summoning's up to level 2. That's increasing rapidly, although it's still not castable yet. After we get summonings up to about 6, I guess... Um, we're going to switch over to spell casting. I'm not going to feel comfortable until dodge is quite a bit higher. We're at evasion 16, which isn't bad. Uh, again, trouble. I'd really like an ice beast with me. There we go, we got one. Um, we'll eat a royal jelly, I guess. No sense in saving it for later. And hopefully with the help of our Ice Beast we'll be able to take him out. There we go. 
speaking of which, I can always call on Okuaru's help. I completely forgot to do that. And uh, he can help us out with finesse, if need be. Let's switch back to our Spear of Venom. Since we're facing mostly biological, poisonable creatures here. Natasha again, please die. She's probably around for another incarnation. I didn't bother to read. But she's really... She's the Jessica of Felids. I don't think I've ever been killed by Natasha. Okay. Unfortunately, I used my one potion of heal wounds, so we'll have to be a little careful here. Let's also try to improve our armor class without hampering our dodge ability as much as possible. Took way too many steps there. Okay, good. Hopefully, our Okuaru will see it fit to give me a really nice pole arm. I'm trying not to use his abilities um, and burn through any piety. Stand toe to toe with him. He's gonna hurt if he hits us, but looks like we managed to take him out. Okay. So far, so good. <clears throat> We're not actually using our spear all that much. I'm, I'm almost tempted to turn it off and turn on spell casting. We're still really getting by with freeze. It would be nice to have a little more mana, so I'm just going to turn it off for a little bit. I don't know what this monstrosity is, but I don't like it. Let's keep away from it. A dire elf form, elephant in any form at this time is not a desirable thing to see. Um... Let's get the trident out. We'll try that. Let's go with armor. Let's see if this works any better than a plus three spear. And apparently it does. Our dodge, our improved dodge ability helped there as well. So ice beasts are now getting a lot easier to kill. Time to eat some of our perma food again. We'll go for a slice of pizza or two. And down we go. Freeze. Uh, the Ice Beast might have come up with us, and it did. Summoning's up to level 4, and Ice Beast is getting there. Let's drag up this fellow, put on Ozuku, Ozukubu's armor, and freeze him. Freeze is really an excellent spell. Um, does a good deal of damage. Can almost take you through the lair if, if you've got good enough dodge ability. Uh, staff is obviously not what I'm looking for, but I can't resist checking them out all the same. Okay, Ozgobu's armor on. There's a stachio. Let's get in there and start freezing. He's got minions summoned. It's getting difficult to get through his minions. Um... Now we're in trouble. I hope he doesn't blink. He didn't, and there go his minions. It's nice that they added, finally, that uh, summons disappear when their master dies. Oh, and there's a, a artifact rope. An artifact rope. Resist fire? Well, it's better than what I'm wearing. Not as good as what I was hoping for, but... What can you do? Let's try these gloves on, which will add to my armor class. We're up to 13 now with Ozgozbu's armor on. And, unbelievably, we found a book of ice. You don't expect that sort of thing. You don't expect Crawl to be so nice to you. Let's read this. Amnesia is not what we want. Okay, um, ice form is entirely possible since we have very good transmutation skill. Not, but we have no ability to f 
fight without a weapon. We have no unarmed skill. Um, what is uh, metabolic ingratiation? That slows enemies, I think. <clears throat> Slowing all those who are not resistant to cold. <clears throat> well, I can't see... Um, I can't see it being a bad thing to memorize. Right? Condensation shield is something I'd like to memorize too, but... I hear it's really bad and I don't want to invest in shields right now. Alright, let's try it out. Um, it's nowhere near castable, but I imagine it will be eventually. It might be worth, uh, first of all, Joseph is deadly to me at this point, so let's get out of here. Um, stairs are there. We're going to have to cross a lot of open ground, which is, I'm reluctant to do. Is there anything we can do to help us on the way here? Hmm. Okay. Let's just try and run for it. There he is. Okay, up we go. Now we're going to try and fight him, but we're going to try to be a little prepared about it. Come back, your work. And by prepare being prepared. I mean, have a few ice beasts on hand. Let's get one on hand. I don't think it's going to come down with me. No, it didn't. So I'm going to do that all over again. First, we're going to put on our armor. Then we're going to start summoning ice beasts. Two should be enough. I'm going to tell them to kill Joseph. And might actually switch to the Spear of Venom here. And like a coward, we're going to stand behind our Ice Beasts and poison him until he's dead. And that worked beautifully. Okuaru approves. That got rid of Joseph, and we're free to continue on our way. Let's just tab fight these undead. I'm always tempted to tab fight undead, but sometimes it's a bad idea. Depends on what kind of and undead they are. They all look the same, so it's uh, it can be a big mistake. Um, I'm gonna keep the resist mutation on, I suppose. Both of these are amulets I don't really need right now. Don't drain me. You're gonna drain me, aren't you? Yeah. I'll just die, will you? Okay. We are not that close to getting Okuaru gifts yet, but I'm looking forward to them when they come. Let's just do a search for pole arms, see if we missed anything. Eh, Halbert. We can do without that. Um, let's use our wand to get rid of that thing and confuse the ice beasts or the uh, sky beast who seems to have wandered off somewhere. There he is. All right. I'm confident enough to just freeze you while you're invisible, but I'm not confident enough to eat you. I'm tempted. I love mutations, but uh, they can ruin your game if you're not careful. Good. Let's see our skills coming along. Dodging's up to 10. Spellcasting will get up to 5. Summonings is almost at the uh, at the 6th level, which I was happy with. 17% isn't terrible for Ice Beast. It's good enough for now, as long as we can call a couple of Ice Beasts. Uh, necromancy, huh? Oh, and mate skeleton. <clears throat> I 
All right, well, our necromancy sucks. I kind of, for, for role-playing purposes, don't really want to get into necromancy, but there's no reason not to. Let's get our mana back here. Another executioner axe lying around. Let's put on our armor. Oh, he's draining me. You'll pay for that. Oh, he's drained me terribly. I should have got out of the way there. Or at least summoned an ice beast. But we'll deal with it. Um, we'll get into the hallway here. And let's reach over. First of all, let's get our Spear of Venom. Let's reach over and poison the ogre. And now he's a combination of freeze and... Spear attacks to kill him. Are we still drained? Yes, we are. It's going to go on for quite a while, isn't it? How badly are we drained? Man, eh, not too badly. Nevertheless, I hate being drained. All right, Kiku. Oh, I can't drink from fountains anymore. I took out all the little fun, random things out of this game. Not that I mind it. I've been uh, watching a couple of Bounty Hunter Saxes Let's Plays uh, lately. And he's still playing the old version. And I remember, vaguely remember, uh, <laughs> all the things he had to put up with the old version. The rotten chunks. Which I liked up until... Up until getting used to the new version here. Oh, we're starving. Uh, let's not... Are we getting hit with a halberd too? Yes, we are. Let's just get out of here. Um, let's heal wounds. I don't know why I decided just to stand there and take all that damage. Let's bring the sheep upstairs. Hopefully we can eat him. We can. Um, let's get our spear of venom and kill this thing. And there goes the draining. Good. There's more of them coming at us, and a Hydra. Might be time for heroism. Let's put it on. As for the Hydra, let's go for the Trident. Ow. Oh, that Hydra's tough. Up we go, drag the Hydra with us. Um, Alright, now we're going to have to do something. But what? What can we do? I think he's resistant to cold, isn't he? No, no, he isn't. No, no, we'll hit him with cold. Um, that hurt. And he's healing up very quickly. Our dodge isn't quite good enough to dodge his attacks. Oh, he's only a two-headed Hydra, too. I feel like a wuss running away from him, but... Uh, let's get out of here. His time will come. We'll get a little more experience. We'll grow in power. And then it will be time to kill him. All right, no lair yet, no orcish mines yet. Down we go. This looks like uh, lair territory here. Let's stand on the stairs. We'll put on our armor and just freeze away. Um, up we go now. This enemy we could probably safely trident to death. Um, speaking of which, let's just get our summonings up a wee bit more. There we go. And that can go off, and pull arms can go back on. We'll keep spell casting on for a little bit. More mana is always good. So we've got quite a bit of mana. It's hopeless. You're just delaying the inevitable. 
Okay, down we go. Let's not forget there's a Hydra up there, so... It's not party time when we climb the stairs. I'm still using Freeze more than the Trident, and it's still serving me well. Um, let's just get around the corner here. One of these should be edible. Spellcasting's at six. Why is metabolic and glaciations still so difficult to cast? Oh, it's hexes. It's a hex. Why didn't I see that? Um, well, now I don't really want it. Simulacrum is no good. I mean, it would be a nice spell. Never fooled around with it, but... We don't have the necromancy skill for a level 6 spell. Um, would be nice to get into necromancy, but... And we're going to be limited to animate skeleton, which I'm tempted to pick up, but... Uh, this might be trouble. There's a lot of them here. Okay, we'll casually hit them with our tridents. Freeze them, and they're all dead. Not bad. We are growing in power if we can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bunch of yaks. Now, it's all very well to dive into the lair, but I remember all too well the trouble I had with a two-headed hydra. How are we going to fare with an eight-headed hydra? Not very well. Just get back here. We're starting to get to that overconfident stage where I'm standing toe to toe with a whole bunch of polearm users. And that can end very quickly and very badly. Okay, not so bad. Might be tempted to go into the Orcish Mines before the lair. You, sir, can die. You as well. God knows what they've eaten up. Artifact pull arms. Best not to think about it. Okuaru will provide me with all my pull arm needs, I'm sure. Still using freeze and it's still doing the job. Still no orcish mines and still no temple. Still very short on wands. Um, I believe the ring of ice and ring of fire we're wearing will cancel each other out. Uh, let's just see our resistances here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Down we go. Actually, since we are resistant to fire, we can we can take off the we can take off the ring of fire. And then, yeah, we're resistant to cold and fire now. Good. That's what we want. Let's go up. And Ozakubu's armor. Where'd that wizard go? Another jelly. Um, spell casting doesn't have to go much higher. Not for the moment. Now, we are hideously poisoned here. I'm not sure how that happened. It might have something to do with all those bees I dragged up. And learning my lesson from that, let's go down another stairwell. There's as absolute... Would you... It's absolutely senseless to walk through a stairwell filled with bees. I don't want to get rotted. So you will be killed by my minions. Okay. Spell casting at 7. That goes off. Um, if we have to. 
You know what? Let's put a little bit of the hexes to see if we get that castable. I've never even used that spell. It might might come in handy. It might be really good. You never know. Don't have much more in the way of options for shooting something at a distance. It might be might be worthwhile picking up. Um, no, no, no. So if we can get a better situation here, might be worth picking up um, Throw Frost just to have that option. Conjuration shouldn't be impossible to train up now. You know what? Uh, hex is at level one. Why are we training hexes? Yes, we shouldn't train hexes. We should memorize throw icicle and put some in conjurations. We can get that castable. Ice magic too. Pull arms off. Shouldn't take too long at this point to get castable. Let's see what we can do. This throw icicle would be a real boon to be able to damage enemies from range and throw ice claws is actually a very good spell more jellies <laughs> I hope we pull the shoals this time I'd love to just swim through the shoals casually not worrying about anything but more jellies where are these guys coming from Okay, in my blind rage, I really backed myself into a corner here. But that jelly had to die. As do all jellies. Ah, oh, Shadow Imp got us here. Let's again retreat. And luckily there's some stairs nearby because I've got myself into a bad position. And again in a bad position. Times like this, we need throw ice skull. Um, we're going to have to heal. There's, there's no two ways about it. Whew. Okay, too close for comfort there. Down we go. You shadow him caused a lot of trouble. Still not dead. Up we go. We're gonna eat. Lose consciousness? Why? What happened? Why are we paralyzed? Oh no, no, we're dead. We're definitely dead. Okay, um, we're not dead. But we're almost dead. We have to heal. We have to eat a royal jelly. We have to put on Ozgoodbu's armor, and then we have to. Was I starving there? That was all too close. Thanks, that ghost. Die, die. Oh my god. Throw Icicle is actually getting somewhat castable. I imagine our conjure. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. So here's where they're all coming from. Let's see if we can quietly close the door and back away. I'm gonna put an exclusion on that door. We'll take that bunch out later. I don't want them wandering around. It wouldn't be so bad except for the all club plant. Okay. Down we go. Now we're starting to hit some enemies that 
will make throw ice golf somewhat useful. Um, let's try it now. Okay, kind of worked. It ate up a lot of mana, but didn't do too much damage. I think it might be better to stick with uh, Ice Beast at this at this point. Okay, we're getting hit with that uh, pole arm there. We're gonna move in with our Ice Beasts and take them out, even though they're. Um, resistant to gold, and here's a gift. And a useless one. We're not a thrower, Okuaru. I'm just going to keep an Ice Beast with me at all time now. There's absolutely no reason not to. More jellies. Bad. This is a really bad position. Uh, another Ice Beast. Another Ice Beast. I'm going to try and pull arm over them. Good. Excellent work, Ice Beasts. Ooh, thank God for Ice Beasts there. And that's how I should have actually taken out the Hydra as well. Um... I think this thing is resistant to ice, but with all three of us attacking it. There we go. It looks like we have some new scrolls to try out, so let's put on Ozakuku's armor, freeze this lot, and see what we have here. Magic mapping, vulnerability, and teleportation. Might be wise to drop these wands. Um, that's an O. And this looks like Lair Torsory. Um, I'm just going to stick with Freeze for now. What are we training here? Dodging, Conjurations, and Ice Magic. Let's keep going. For some reason, Okuaru granted me a short sword, and now it's time to run. At least for a little while. Get an Ice Beast up, and attack over him. Uh, with our Spear of Venom. That makes more sense. You yaks thought you had me, didn't you? Didn't you? He didn't realize I could summon Ice Beasts. Which I'm a little reticent to do, because I don't like summoning. But it has saved my life a number of times. A couple of new rings there. A store, another potion of heal wounds, which we'll buy. Berserk Rage would be useful to us, since we can fight. I'm not sure if it's worth buying, though. Actually, it probably is. Let's go back to the store. Um, Berserk Rage is 55. That's a little more expensive than I thought. How many do we have now? We have three of them. And that could come in really handy in a pinch. Uh, armor, Ice Beast, and let's start poisoning. And reaching for the Orc Priest. Excellent. Coming along, coming along. Um, Throw Ice Skull is actually getting somewhat castable. Let's turn off Ice Magic. Put on pull arms and run smack dab into a 
patrol. It might be time to throw, test out our throw icicle skills. Worked out quite well. And there's some troll leather armor, which we will also pick up. Okay, we're going to back off here because that's a gargoyle. Oh, we are going to kill him, but we're going to be prepared for it. That means armor, a couple ice beasts. Okay, tell our ice beasts to attack. And we'll join the charge. There's no sense in using a spear like that to kill him. Haha. <laughs> Between the three of us, he didn't prove to be difficult at all. It's turning into a fun build. Uh, let's hit the lair. What are we at now? 45 minutes? Okay, this might be a good place to leave it. Um, hope to make some more videos today. So, this might not be the last one. I'm still drinking my coffee, which has gotten a little cold. But I think this is a good place to leave it. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Which might be soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.